Hello everybody. Today we are going to carry on uh, with a little more work on Laplace transforms. But today uh, there will be a few topics related to Laplace transforms. And the first one is uh, the unit step function, which as we will see is a very important function in uh, modifying signals. Time signals can be modified with the help of the unit step function. The unit step function, which is also called Heaviside's Heave step function, uh, after the mathematician Oliver Heaviside, who was, by the way, the father of operational calculus, of which Laplace transforms, particularly solving differential equations with Laplace transforms, is an integral part. So, we will define the function. The definition is written here. It is denoted by u or unit step function. The argument is t minus a is equal to 0 whenever t is less than a and is equal to 1 when t is greater than a. For convenience, we assume that we are talking of a greater than 0. If we wish to graph this function, we will have something like this. If this is 1 and this is the function u t minus a plotted on the vertical axis and supposing we have this point as a. Then the function looks something like this. Whenever t is less than a, the function is 0. So the function coincides with the t axis and after t is equal to a, the function becomes 1. It has a value of 1 after t is equal to a. We will see very carefully that the function is not defined for t is equal to 0. So, it has no value and it is appropriate to keep it open on the left side of a and open on the right side of a. So, at t is equal to a, it does not have a defined value. There are other modified ways of defining this function, but we will use this basic definition. And the graph of the function is like this. Because there is a step-like structure as we move from the left of A to the right of A, uh, this function is called the unit step function. Actually, if you put a line like this, we must remember that this is no part of the graph of the step function. So, it is better to rub out this and depict the function in its graphical, graphical form as shown. Now, we will see how the step function can be used to truncate uh, certain signals. 